Justin Timberlake has cut a new video. The part that I find noteworthy about this is that the left is going crazy about this music video, and I really don't see why. So here it is. Uh, it's produced by Pharrell, uh, and his wife Jessica Biel is, is there in a voiceover. So here is the, the trailer for his album, Man of the Woods. This album is really inspired by my son, my wife, my family, but more so than any other album I've ever written where I'm from and it's personal. Justin Timberlake loves nature, man. It's a river. It's fire. It feels like mountains, trees, campfires. Like wheat, corn. Like Where to best in corn? Okay, so in any case, and the reason that this is noteworthy is because, first of all, Justin Timberlake is from Tennessee, right? He is from Tennessee. So people treat him like, oh, look, look at this look at this city boy going and acting like he likes all the nature and such. Okay, he is from Memphis, Tennessee, right? He grew up in Shelby Forest, which is a small community between Memphis and Millington. I know this because of Dr. Wikipedia, right? And so th this idea that he's, he has no connection with sort of the country is just silly. But there are a bunch of people who are pissed about it. So there's, a, there's an article in a, an outlet called The Outline where they say, Justin Timberlake is rebranding as a white man because he's embracing his authentic roots. Rebranding as a white, well, was he ever black? Did I miss that part? Because I'm pretty aware that everybody knew that he was white for like his entire life because he's white. But is it rebranding as a white man to go back to where you're from? I mean, he's from Memphis. I just, I don't understand this. But again, the race baiting is so thorough here that if you are, if, if you're a guy who wears a cowboy hat, you want to talk about kind of cultural, cultural discrimination? If you're a, guy, a white guy who wears a cowboy hat or boots in a place with a bush, then all of a sudden you are considered a hick who hates black people. I mean, that's basically what the outline is trying to say here. They, this is literally what they say. I have to read this because it's insane. They say, the trailer for Timberlake's new album, Man of the Woods, present the former NSYNC heartthrob looking pensive in various natural settings, hitting every note of the white man finding himself in the empty West trope that has long been part of America's romantic fictional past. What now? Like, huh? This is white colonialist fantasies aside. There's something very familiar about this pivot in Timberlake's style. White colonialist fantasy. He's literally standing on a rock. I, I don't see his slaves. I don't see him fighting with Native Americans. Right? Well, Pocahontas is nowhere to be found. But the insane race consciousness here is just beyond. So the, what they're saying is that Timberlake has a long history with hip-hop and R&B, genres invented and dominated by black people. And to be clear, without African Americans, there would be no rock or country music as we know it either. But I digress. Right? So he moved from quote unquote black culture, but now he's pandering to white America. Um, or maybe he just wants to do an album about where he's from. Is that possible? Okay, what if I just like jazz? I like jazz, not because it was invented by black people, but because classic jazz is great stuff. Right? What if I like country music? Because I'm Jewish. Like I have no connection, I have no root connection to any of these musics, probably more to jazz than I do to country music. But this, this, is, this notion that everything has to be broken down by sort of cultural stereotype, it just demonstrates the intersectional stupidity of so many people who are commentators on our culture. I don't see what Justin Timberlake is doing wrong by standing in a jacket in a forest. Like, the forests belong to us all.